guys, it's Andy. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys makeup products that I used to hate but now love. Normally what happens is the first time using a product, I can use it wrong and I have to experiment with it and try a bunch of different ways to use it. These are just the main products that stuck out to me as products that I really didn't like initially, but as I got to use them more, I started really, really liking them and now, some of them are staples in my collection. So honestly, this just goes to show you that you have to try a product more than once to actually determine if you like it or not. I'm hoping this video will maybe help those of you that are struggling to work with these products just like I did. Anyways, I'm rambling and let's just get started. The first product I did not like is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. I did do a first impressions on this and I told you guys that I thought this made my skin break out, which is the reason why I hated it at first. You guys can see now almost half of the bottle is gone and I did finally discover that it was a skin serum I had recently been using that made me break out. This spray is really nice and refreshing. I love using it as a prepping spray before I put on my makeup. It doesn't make your makeup last any longer which is totally fine because I have setting sprays for that. This is just a nice facial mist that's good for your skin. It has some skincare benefits in there as well so I have really really been enjoying this recently. I feel like you guys are going to be really mad at me for this one but I used to hate the Tarte Shape Tape. When I first got it um, I would see videos of YouTube and stuff putting you know the triangles underneath the eyes and I would try to do my makeup just like that and I would blend it out I would be stuck with a cakey looking mess that would settle into fine lines and just be a really really awful look I was like what is going on everyone loves this concealer it's not working out for me but I realized that everyone is using way too much. All you guys really need is one to two dots of it underneath the eye and you are set. It's so full coverage that when people put triangles underneath the eyes and they really put layers and layers of it onto the skin, not that it doesn't layer well, but when you're putting excess amounts of product of anything on your skin, it's going to look bad. Too much of a good thing, if you know what I mean. But now that I've learned how to correctly apply this and how much to apply, I've really, really been enjoying this. I do think the shade range is a little weird. This is um, light, medium, honey, and is very, very light. So I did talk about this in my compact collection, if you guys haven't seen it down below, but this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and obviously it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. It's pretty much a face powder for me, but obviously I hated it at first because it's not marketed for medium skin, which Physicians Formula, please come out with a darker one because I know they have two shades, and that darker shade is barely different than this one. This one is the light bronze one, but I have found a use for it that I'm really happy to report. So if I use a bronzer that is either too dark, too orange, or a little bit patchy and hard to work with, I will take this on a kind of denser brush and I'll swirl it in here and then I'll just buff the bronzer into my cheeks and it makes it look so airbrushed and flawless. So that is how I have been using this and I really, really, really do enjoy it. These products from Wet n Wild I used to not like at all. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hydling Powders and I've got the shade Crown of My Canopy and Precious Petals. So Precious Petals Petals is my favorite of the two super gorgeous kind of champagne color. These are more of a like baked gelée formula and every YouTuber was talking about these saying how bomb they were and how they were so glowy and beautiful and then I bought them, I got home and I tried using a fan brush with them and it was just a bunch of glitter and I was very very underwhelmed but I couldn't complain because I mean it was a five dollar highlighter so I didn't really think I would be blown away. And then Liv Loves Her Makeup did a video that was like, I don't know if it was like a products I used wrong or something like that, but she featured this product and she said that at first she didn't like it either, but once she switched to using kind of a denser packed buffing brush for highlighting, it became so much more like blinding. So the particular brush that she said she really enjoyed with this product is the Lexi 512 Small Contouring Brush. It just so happens I do have it. I got it in a boxy charm, which is awesome. I love Lexi brushes. And what you do is you take the product and you buff it onto the cheekbones as opposed to using a maybe lighter, less dense brush to kind of just apply it to the cheekbones, you really have to buff it in there because it is a different formula than a regular powder highlighter. And I really didn't know that, so a huge shout out to Liv because I would have still hated these products if it wasn't for her and I'm very, very excited to be sharing that with you guys as well. This last product is from Milani. If you guys don't know, I am literally the liquid lipstick queen. I love liquid lipsticks just because I am really, really lazy. Like, who wants to actually touch up 
a lipstick throughout the day, honestly. And the shade I'm wearing right now is Hypno from Ofra. Super comfortable, super long wearing, so pretty, and I love the shade ranges. And I'm planning on doing a video where I show you guys all of the liquid lipsticks I have. I came up with a rating system for them and everything, and I share with you guys my favorites, least favorites, and the middles, and like which ones I recommend and things like that. So I've done a lot of planning for that video, and I'm super excited. But this is the Milani Amora Matte Lip Cream. This color is in the shade 38 Stunning, and it is a really stunning nude shade. So it is more of a liquidy formula compared to other ones. It does smell like vanilla cake, which is great, but the reason I did not like this at first is again, I applied way too much. If you guys can see, the Dofa applicator picks up such a large amount of product, so I would just take that and I would put that all over the lips, you know, silly silly me and um, this would get very very crumbly very drying and it would settle into every single fine line I had on my lips so one day I decided to wipe off all of this excess product that collects kind of in the dip of the Dofa applicator and I decided to just apply a very very thin layer and this formula is a lot like the Kat Von D formula it's a thinner formula that's almost hydrating so when you do use a thin layer of it your lips can still breathe through it so it's not drying it does settle into fine lines a little bit more than the Kat Von D ones it's not quite as opaque it's obviously a little bit liquidy and the darker shades are a little bit patchy but if you use a small 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 amount of this and you go very light and you don't layer throughout the day they do look absolutely stunning on the lips all right guys so that is all I have for you guys for today's video again I do think it's really important to try out products more than one time to determine if you really do like them or not but I want to thank you guys so much for watching I love you and I'll see you in my next video bye and finally guys if you may and not this product. This product. Oh, there's a bug. But now that I've learned, I've one. I just like stab myself with it.